shows ago. I was telling you about Sticker Mule and the really cool different stickers that they had. I wanted to show off our collection of stickers. So we have a box that's entirely dedicated to stickers. It is all our characters, our ideas, all of our originals. Um, so I kind of just wanted to show them off because I'm really proud of them and I really like them. So we'll start in this one. Oh, this is a perfect one to start with. Um, this is one of the Kiss Cut ones that I was telling you about, how it really hugs the character. So we picked um, Junkyard Jess. She's my character. So this is me being all silly, sticking my tongue out. And I'm sorry I'm mistaken, this is a die cut. This is not a Kiss Cut, it's a die cut. And then the holographic stickers I was telling you about, this is our character Bubble Bot. So we got him done, that's super cool. And we found this like character thingy. It's like, I mean, this was used for photos and stuff, but we never use anything for its original purpose. But we're using it for our stickers. All right, so this cool guy right here is the gremlin. And this is our favorite gremlin, by the way. He is just, he's like the size of a squirrel and he hates humanity because they're ruining the environment. And so he's just sitting on a skull, flicking a lollipop and brooding, which sounds like a good start to the weekend to me. And this is Wind Chime. Her tattoos are mystical. Her tattoos change and morph. And she is a sword wielding goddess. We love Wind Chime around here. And then we did a Got Milk Tote Man. He's got a little milk mustache and everything. Kind of brings back a little nostalgia um, about, you know, back in the, the couple ads that were in comic book, Got Milk, all that stuff. So we brought that back. And I would love to give a shout out to some of the artists that did these, like Chad Porter. He does such a great job. Like specifically, he did um, work on this one and the Junkyard Jess one. He did. He does a lot of our art. We really love him. He's a good friend of ours. His art is amazing. He does like tons of chibis that are adorable. All right, so this is my favorite sticker. So I'm a huge fan of NWA. Like they are amazing. Their music is incredible. Such influential artists. And so. Um, don't know if you know what it stands for. So we replaced the N word in NWA with ninja. Okay. So walk with me through this. Ninjas with attitude. See, see, um, it's very cool because it, it means it's geek culture mixed with my culture. So it's kind of nice. I, I like it, the African-American culture. So there are other ninja things. I don't think we have stickers of them. I think we have a bumper sticker. Um, ninja please. So, uh, maybe one of these days we'll, we'll get more of the other stickers done, but this is on my phone because I love it. Next up, we've got, this was, um, for Swaptober. We got, um, this character done. This character is an original, is originally an African-American male and the character's name is Snow Globe. So for Swaptober, we swapped genders and became a female. We thought it'd be kind of cool with like the see-through and like the seeing the whole body thing. And this is kind of cool. It's a female take. Love it. Alrighty, that's all that's in that one. This is our family pack. So on this one, you've got me, Junkyard Jess, right down there. You've got Dirty DJ, which is our oldest, our 25-year-old Dave. This is our doggy Ace. Hopefully he'll get in a video one day. This is the Bubbler. This is my 14-year-old's character he created when he was five, um, along with Dirty DJ. Um, and, you know, he writes stories for this, like, almost every year, so it's kind of cool. And then the Bubbler's Butler, the Bubble Bot. We love him. So yeah, we got a little family pack to hand out. And so the purpose of most of these stickers is we go to a lot of comic book conventions and when we have tables, we give stuff away. My husband is a huge advocate for epilepsy awareness and he created a comic book and a comic book character to help explain epilepsy to children and their caregivers. So we get a table at a convention and we hand out his free comic book we hand out stickers, we hand out bumper stickers, we hand out pins, just so we can raise awareness and let people know that they are not alone. So that's something that, you know, we try and do. So we take stickers and we give them to people. 
All right, so this is Ninja Boy. Um, he is almost like the Bruce Wayne of our world. He is super cool, a bachelor, a ladies' man. He masters all the martial arts, and he is my husband's brother, Dennis. So shout out to Dennis. And of course, because I'm vain, I got a little another Junkyard Jess. But this one has a rat on it because Junkyard Jess has tons of rat minions. I used to have two pet rats. I miss them. They were the best pets ever. I know like a lot of people are freaked out by rat pets, but I'm telling you, like they're right up there with the dog. Okay. So you saw these in the last video, so I'm not going to go on these too much, but they also do magnets. So this is another one done by Chad Porter and we got this in a magnet style. So we also hand those out at conventions as well. Um, we have a bubbler one. And this is Spaceball. He's just a crazy guy. And this actually glows in the dark. So not only do they have uh, magnets, but they do have glow in the dark options as well. All right, let's see. Okay, these are the bubbler ones. And this is the Ace Magnet. And my three-year-old really loves playing with these. Like, he'll put them up on our dishwasher, and he'll, like, make a whole little scene with them because he knows what characters they represent. So he'll be like, look, Mommy, it's Ace. He loves it. Okay. So these are the holographic ones again, and this is Milan. She uses her tentacles to suck energy out of people and to fuel her craziness. We love her around here. And this is a glow-in-the-dark sticker of Spaceball. We love him. And then this is a character um, my husband created, Smoky Mountain Sasquatch, after his dog, Boo. And we were trying to figure out, he, he didn't really have an identity. He was never really drawn before. So my husband and I actually worked on the concept, and we got him created. This is our masterpiece. And he finally has a face, so it's kind of cool. And we got him done in the He-Man style, too. So this is going to be seen later in another video when we kind of show off the He-Man line of tokens. Okay. Shiny shinies. I love the shinies. So this is the male version of Snow Globe, the original version. don't know if you can see it. But super shiny. I love it. He is so dopey, and he's just amazing. And then... See, this character, this is Management Armor Spare Part Man. He also has another suit, um, regular Spare Part Man. So this is the Management, ar management Armor. It's a little more upgraded, a little more techy. So shiny as well. We love it. I don't know what I would do without these. We use these for everything. And they're so easy to take to conventions. All right. And see, this is an example of what we give out at the comic book conventions. It's Tote Man Support Epilepsy Awareness. So we give these out to people, especially kids. They love free stuff. So um, we try and give these out and spread the word. More shinies. So this one, I think, is just... Oh, there's DNG and DNG 5572. So... They may look the same, but this one has a robot hand, and I'm telling you, he is so much more aware of himself. He is not just a robot like this one. This DNG 5572, he thinks, and he contemplates, and that's what makes him so scary. But love these super shiny stickers. And then we have shiny aces. Okay, people, we love our dog. I get it. I understand, but he's awesome, so. Oh, okay. And then, so we also, this really isn't sticker meal related, but we got pins, see, of my husband's comic book character. Done in that cute little chibi style. Love it. And I think we have another character done. I thought we had um, Ninja Boy done. He might not be in there. All right. Well, these are just the Jeremy ones. That's cool. So this one I like a lot because it's done by one of our friends, Brian Smith or Smitty. Um, he does some really great work. And so he took my husband's comic book character and turned it into a cabbage patch or garbage pail kid. Sorry. 
I know there's a huge difference. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. I love it. So, thanks, Smitty. Appreciate it. I think these are one of the Kiss Cut ones, too. And last but not least, we have our Heroic Tote Man. I love these. Like, the little starburst behind them and everything. I mean, the quality of color is so awesome. The one sticker has been on the back of my phone for, like, months, and it's not even peeling. These are really good quality stickers. They're very reasonably priced. And especially if you, like, look for sales and stuff, it, it's really awesome. So if you guys have not gotten a chance yet, I suggest you check out um, Sticker Mule. And then I just wanted to give you a little peek at my husband's comic book. So this is Tote Man. We got this done. We actually paid for the printing of... Oh, not this one. So this is the one that Cigna printed for us. Um, they wound up, when well, my husband worked for Cigna, they worked with him. Um, we got it done in Spanish also. He worked with the translator. And they're giving it out as a resource to physicians. And we work more on the ground trying to give it to pediatricians, neurologists, um, anyone at comic book conventions, that kind of thing, anybody who's interested. So um, if you are interested in getting a book, um, it has some really good stuff in here, really good art, um, really good information, what to do in case of the seizure. It also talks about, like this page in particular is my favorite. It talks about my husband's seizures and how he was actually fired from Canon because of his seizures, um, you know, back before all those laws were in place to protect people with medical disadvantages. So um, if you guys are interested in this, you can find him on Instagram uh, at the Real Tote Man. And we are more than happy to send out books and com like comics and you know, pamphlets and stickers and little swag for whoever is interested and whoever wants to help us fight the fight of raising awareness for epilepsy. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and all of our stickers. And I will see you next video. Bye, guys. Hey everyone, so we have reached a new milestone and I'm really excited because finishing one milestone means I can go make another one. So I would like everyone to make sure that they're continuing to comment, like, and subscribe on the page and get your friends and family to do it too um, because the more the channel grows, the more fun stuff we get to do. So I wanted to let you guys know um, we're going to still do giveaways and such um, with the comments and the comments have been reset um, at the 150 mark. So any videos after January 10th is how we're going to count the comments going forward. So make sure you're commenting on the new videos that are coming out. So I'm thinking um, our next giveaway is probably going to be at the 300 subscribers mark. And I think it's very doable. I think we can reach it. And I'm really excited and looking forward to it. Um, so I think... I, I don't know. I don't think I know what the prize is going to be yet. So it's to be determined. Um, we'll see. And, you know, I'm always taking suggestions. So if you want to put something down in the comments that... Um, some toy that you would like to see as a giveaway, just let me know. Um, so, yeah. And it could be another um, winner's choice. So who knows? And don't be disheartened. I know some of you think that 300 is really far away, but who knows? I may just do a random giveaway in the middle just because I like doing giveaways. So stay tuned. I may like put a secret word in a video that if you are the first one to find the hidden word, then you get a, a toy or get a prize. So who knows? So stay tuned. Um, and I appreciate you guys as always and help me reach my next milestone. I'll see you soon.